Hello and welcome to Jewelry Rescue. I'm Kat and I'm a girl on a mission to rescue and recycle the world's unwanted jewellery. Today we have a massive bag of broken and unsold jewellery from a charity shop, plus earrings because the shop doesn't sell earrings at all, so there's going to be some brand new earrings in here too. There's eight and a half pounds worth. This is the biggest unboxing I've ever done. If you subscribe already, you might have seen at the weekend I did a community post asking how we're going to celebrate when we get to 500 subscribers and you said you'd like me to do a live unboxing, which I think is a fab idea. So let's do half of this now and then we'll do the other half in that live. If you don't already subscribe, please do consider doing so. It gets there just a little bit quicker so that we can get and do the, the rest of the bag. So I'm looking for things that I can break apart and upcycle and things that I can restore and resell in my eBay, Etsy, Poshmark and two high street retailers. I can't wait to see what's in here. So let's dive straight in. OK, we've got about half of the bag here. I'm excited to dive in. I'm going to go straight in with a box. This says Equilibrium. This is a brand that they sell in our local garden centre, so I recognise it. And we've got some very sweet little bees. I think that um, this jewellery is silver plated. That looks like, I don't know, maybe radium plated, doesn't it? It's very shiny. Very nice. So as I say, the charity shop that I took this bag from, they don't sell earrings at all. So there's often new earrings in there. Oh, we've got some music notes. Those ones actually say that they're silver plated. They're nice. There are some boxes left in the bag as well, but I thought I'd just take some of them and we can save the others for the live. Wow, this is a fun earring. Look at that. 60s style, but who knows when it was actually made. Maybe we'll find another one for that. I think I'm going to start a tray of single earrings and we'll see if we can match them up. There's a real mix of stuff in here. What have we got here? pair of silver tone dangles. That's our first pair. Those are quite cool. We've got a big beaded bracelet. I think we're going to have lots of tangles, by the way, because the shop have a particular bag that they like to put the jewellery in and then they decant it into a carry bag for me so they can keep the nice bag in the shop. Um, but unfortunately, when we tip it all out, it does tangle a little bit. But hey, that's half the fun. These will get reused for something else, probably with my children's workshops. You can see we've got another fun pair of earrings here. Look at those. These are very on trend for this summer. Love the turquoise colour. Um, I will most likely move these onto hook earrings and they'll go into one of my shops. Wow, look at those. They don't look like they've ever been worn, do they? Fashion jewellery is what it says on the brand there. So we always get loads of earrings, as I say, because they don't sell them. So this is a fab source of earrings for me and they just keep them aside for me. They would have gone into landfill otherwise because they're not allowed to sell them since COVID. I'm not really sure why, but um, they're obviously worried about hygiene still for some reason. Wow, look at these. Bit of 90s boho. Love those. Again, those will go onto new hooks and into the shops. Look at these fun ones. So these look like they probably were earrings. Oh yes, that one actually has got a hook. I can see another one for that one. Wonder if we'll find the black one. Fingers crossed. Oh, this is a bit of a mix. That looks like a vintage piece. Oh, it's a belt buckle. And that's quite fun. I might turn that into a pendant. Check out this vintage beauty. Look at that. So that's a clip-on earring. Now, I got a fantastic tip on clip-on earrings um, from that girl, Dina Marie. If you don't follow her, you should go and check out her channel. She's amazing. She's over in the States doing similar to me and she does live sales and things as well. Now, she had this really cool tip that if you've got a torque necklace, you know, the, one of the hard metal um, just a simple band, you can clip it over and wear it as a pendant, which I thought was such a good use of single clip-on earrings. So I'm definitely going to be pinching that one. Thank you, Dina. Completely inspired. Aha, there's the other yellow one. So I'm going to move that into my pears pot. Love those. I think that I will clean those rather than clipping them off there because they're such a fab pair. 
Now these little fish say stainless steel on them, but they're gold tone. I suppose they could be plated stainless steel, couldn't they? Can you? I don't really know how that works. I've never seen gold stainless steel before. What does it say on the clasp? Oh, it's broken on the chain. I might be able to fix that. There's no little fish on the chain unless we find them somewhere at the bottom of the bag. So I'll keep those to one side for later. Got another clip on earring. There's how many clip on earrings must there be in the world? I've got so many of them. It's crazy. Let's start a little tray for those. Ah, there's a pair. Oh, that's fab. Okay, as there's a pair of those and they're in good condition, they'll get sold as they are. Let's have a look at these ones. So these have the look of a very expensive pair of earrings, don't they? But I think that they are costume. Let's see what's on the back. Blue topaz is a natural stone, therefore stones may vary in colour. Clean with soft brush and warm soapy water. So I think we've got blue topaz and probably cubic zirconia, but I'll test those with the presidium. Perhaps I'll do a separate little tray of things that I'm going to test and then I can update you on those when we do the live. I'm pretty sure they're not gold, they're a bit too shiny. So let me start a little pile of things to update you on. As I say in the live, we've got what looks like an upcycled button brooch. Gosh, I'm running out of room for, tra room for trays. I need a brooch tray now. So I just use food trays, look, that have been cleaned out to sort all of my things. And they're great because they stack as well and it's eco-friendly so I don't have to buy plastic boxes. Ooh, look at this one, 80s cloisonne enamel. Um, I have just listed a fabulous waist belt with a butterfly um, cloisonne uh, buckle. That will go really nicely with it. So that one needs to be listed ASAP to go with it. So that is over on Poshmark and Etsy. I'm really enjoying Poshmark in the UK. Have you joined since it came to the UK? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to know your experience with it. Now this is an older piece. Look at that. That's got to be at least 100 years old, hasn't it? That is beautiful filigree work with little daisies. Um, oh yes, you can see it's older because there's no safety on the clasp there. It's gone a little bit slack, unfortunately. I wonder if I might just be able to bend that a bit round a bit more. Love that. I love these bags that we just get such a mix of things. So having had that beautiful old piece, we've now got a modern thing in a plastic bag. Necklace adjusters. Oh, they'll come in handy. That's to ext just extension chains for necklaces. So I shall definitely use those. We've got just some plastic beads. They look like glass, I expect, on the camera, but they're not, they're just plastic. Those could go in the children's workshops. Oh, that's a beautiful glass bead on there. I will probably take that off there and make it into a wire-wrapped ring. Love that one. I'm gonna need another tray for rings. <laughs> just move a few things around. And we've got our modern sparkly hair clip or barrette that will go into my pre-loved don't have a tray for that yet it takes me longer to pack this away than it does to film it because there's so much sorting i like to put everything into the right places ready for how they're going to be used oh some lovely accessorized earrings i like those look like they've probably never been worn let's put those in with the earrings And we've got a sort of belly dancer style. Could be an arm cuff or an anklet with little bells. That's fun. I can go into pre-loved. Oh, look at her. Got a seed beady little brooch. Somebody's made. She's really sweet. I like the um, bead with the face on it. old piece attached to a new piece. Let's look at that in a second. What even is that? I think it's probably too big for a ring. Could be a scarf ring maybe. 
just costume anyway. Um, what was it attached to? So we've got a faux pearl. This looks like silver. Yes, it does have a maker's mark of WG and silver on there. What does it say on the inside? Rosy, Rosita Sterling Silver. I'll look up that brand. That's quite pretty, isn't it? Uh, that's our first silver, I think. That's a good one. We've got a really pretty costume brooch with a glass. It's like one of those glass pebbles that you put into a vase. That's fun. That will go into the brooches. Should we have a look in another box? What have we got in here? We've got some wooden carved figures. Those are really fun. Like those. This is an intriguing little bag. Oh, what have we got here? Is this treasure? This could be treasure. Let's have a look. They feel very cold. I think that's probably black onyx. And these, to me, look like silver. Let's get the magnet on them. Not magnetic, so those will definitely need testing. This is a very simple fix with some jeweler's glue just to go back into there. And obviously the studs will need cleaning. That's not an original back. That one looks like it probably is. I'll just have a quick squeeze through the loop and let you know if I can see any markings on there. I can't see any markings on there, but I suspect perhaps they neither of them have the original back maybe because quite often the marking would be on the back. My feeling is that those probably are nine karat gold. So again, I'm going to put those in my pile of things to test and I'll update you when we do the live. Um, let's have a look at this one. Beautiful banded agate. I've got a feeling this with the triangles has got a different name to just banded agate, but I can't remember what it is. Let me know in the comments if you know. That'll be made back into a pendant. Just needs a loop and a chain. So that one is fun. Let's get rid of that box. I've got a whole box that was just open in the bottom of the bag there. That looks like it could have some treasures in it. I've got another hair clip that will just go in with pre-loved. Get these boxes out of the way. Lovisa seeing quite a lot of these i think there's a shop i think they have i think they're actually a standalone shop aren't they of jewelry it's caught onto something so i won't bore you with untangling that right this second that's this one that's reduced from nine pounds to three pounds looks like a department store i can't quite remember what that brand is excuse me while i detangle these okay that's pretty, isn't it? Wow, look at that. I think that's glass in the middle there. It's a clip on back with a screw. Can't see any markings on it, but very, very pretty. Most likely an 80s one as well. That's just a cheap earring. What does it say there? Handmade. Oh. That's a bit odd, isn't it? It says it's handmade on the tag there, but it doesn't look like any part of it has actually been handmade. Perhaps it's been hand put together, which is, you know, what I do. <laughs> uh, that's just a cheap hook that's gone nasty. So that one actually does need to go in the bin. Very rare that we actually put anything in the bin, but that one is no good to anybody. There's a dangly. That's quite nice. We can find its partner. These are pretty. I do like accessorised jewellery. Those are gorgeous. Is it focusing? Aren't they lovely? I've got another one of those hair clips. Oh, glad I didn't spike myself with that one. That's an old um, hat pin, I guess. Be careful of that one. Oh, look, a beautiful um, enamel earring. I hope we can find a pair to that one. If not, that will make quite a nice pendant because it's quite big. 
the wooden earring. That's quite intricate beadwork. Looks like somebody's done themselves. That looks a bit spiky though. I might be able to tidy that up. Wow, this is super heavy. Any markings on it? No. Really pretty beadwork. That's got the feel of accessorised to it, but it hasn't got any markings, so it's probably not. I think that one will have to go into pre loved because I'm not going to... One, I don't want to take away somebody's time that they spent putting that together. And two, it would take forever. So that one will go into pre loved That's just a sparkly costume one. And another 80s clip-on. We've got a broken 80s clip-on. Look at that. We are in a tangle tangle. That's a very pretty vintage brooch. That's probably 80s as well. It's got a bit of verdigris there that needs cleaning off. Oh gosh, look at the back of it. What a shame. I don't think I'm going to tackle that one. That might need to go into a craft lot. What do you think? Let me know what you would do with that one. Where did I put the brooches? There we go. And there's a costume safety pin brooch with dangly danglies. Sorry if I'm speeding up, I'm just looking at the time and how much is still left on the table to get through. Some more beads for the children's workshops. I'm doing a live event next Saturday at one of my retailers. So if you happen to be anywhere near Surrey in the UK, you can see details of that on my social pages. Um, I'm gonna be doing some live repairs, perhaps some live up upcycling. It's gonna be really good fun. Uh, encouraging people to bring along their broken and unworn pieces and we'll talk about how they can restyle them how they could be upcycled and so on that is a beautiful enamel earring i hope we can find the pair to that one don't forget of course that we might not find the pairs until we do the other half of the bag so i'm going to keep this somewhere safe and separate so that we can match them up hopefully uh, when we get to that other bag this cross, I have one almost identical in my personal collection. I do like crosses. It's got a wood inlay. It's very dark for silver. Could be a nickel silver or a low grade silver. I'll check it with a magnet. Yeah, it's ever so slightly magnetic. Beautiful though. I'll have to decide whether to keep that one with my collection or sell that one on. This is interesting. What is this for? Is it a scarf clip, maybe? Two grippers and quite a long chain for a shawl or something. Let me know what you think of that one. There's a hairpin. I think that's a modern one. More of these Lavisa earrings. There's quite a lot of those. Oh, I love this style of clasp. I like to wear necklaces like this backwards so then you can hang charms off the claspy bit. We're tangled up here with a pair of earrings. There we go, snowflakes from Lovisa. Oh, something interesting there for us to look at. Let's just detangle this one. Ah, this is an intertwi intertwined chain that has broken and these interesting glass bits. I will attempt to fix or upcycle that because that's quite fun, that central piece, isn't it? That's got a vintage feel about it, but it's not. You can tell from the chain that it's not. It's an interesting one. Right, what did I just put down? Look at this. This looks like a pocket watch chain. Non-magnetic. What does it say? KC... KCR and Co. Alba R Alba R RFC RIC. Sorry, you're not in focus. Let's get you in focus. Here are the markings here. None of them say silver, as far as I can see. It does look like silver. That is a slightly different colour to the rest of it which is interesting. 
I will definitely turn that into something. I think it's a bit big for a bracelet unless I have a bit hanging. Perhaps it could be turned into a necklace. I'll update you on that one as well. Let me put that in the pile to test. Mm, exciting. Oh, this is a pretty bangle. I think it's brass and it's got some flowers round. That's lovely. That has a vintage feel to it as well. I like that one. Oh, look, we found the other one of those. That I think is probably howlite in the middle rather than turquoise. But I could be wrong. Let me know if you think otherwise. They just need a really good clean and some fresh hooks. Just got my bead. This is a massive pendant. Check that out. I might put that onto a new cord and that can go into free loved. Oh, we've got some Toledo Damascene on a brooch, but it's missing its pearl. I wonder whether the pearl might be in here. We'll have to have a look. There are some enamel earrings there. Those are actually studs for once rather than clip-ons. There's another clip-on faux pearl. Japan, that says on the back. A modern brooch with a missing stone. Got so many of these brooches with missing stones. Somebody might like to sit and put the stones back in though. If they can match them up. Single earrings, they're just cheap costume ones. Oh, we've got another clippy thing. Must be something to do with scarves or shawls, surely. Uh, this is a nice vintage brooch. It's got a little bit of verdigris on here. Could be pewter, maybe. And it's got an older style clasp there. That's a nice one. It's the other one of those. couple of Roman coins, whoops, on a pin. That's quite fun. It's been fun for my daughter's Roman day at school, but she's had that now. This is teeny tiny. This is one of those ones that you make, you glue on the stones yourself. That's very sweet. What does it say? Oh, Mount Rushmore. It's got the, it's got a picture on there, look. There you go. That's super fun. One of my girls might snaffle that. Big costume chain necklace. Oh, there's all sorts caught up in here. That's the other half of that clippy thing. Oh, it's on a it's on a key ring. Perhaps it's to go on your belt then, with your keys attached to it. Interesting. Another vintage brooch. I've got so many brooches to list. I don't think people are buying brooches at the moment, are they? I wouldn't know because I don't list them. I'm terrible. What does that say there? That's just a pattern, I think perhaps it's a, it might be a logo rather than rather than a marking. No, nope, I can't show you, it's not focusing, it's just a gold tone bangle though. Nothing special. A nice blue gemstone, looks like it could be a dyed one. That's probably a piece of howlite at a guess. That could be turned into a pendant. Some big old vintage clip-ons, they're fun. They're a plastic, a sort of early plastic, I think. Sorry, that's not the camera. Those will go onto new hooks, I think. And then we've got some prayer beads with a pretty glass cross. Well, that's a fun way of doing a dangle. Oh no, it's through a, <laughs> that's through a bit of foam. I thought that was part of the earring. That's quite fun. 
sorry, my foot's going to sleep. I've hidden my husband's Father's Day presents underneath my workbench and now can't put my feet under my foot's going to sleep. So we've got a new pair of earrings, Blessed London, jewellery that gives back. I've seen those before. I think it's a nice brand. Got a little tie pin. Oh, this is nice. Look, this malachite pendant. That I will put onto a new chain if I can get something through. That's really nice. These are just costume studs. Let's have a little dig for treasure. I'm running out of time now, so I might have to pop some of these back into the other bag because I've got to be somewhere this morning. That's a nice glass dangle earring. That's really pretty on a screw back. That could be put onto a hook. Another clip on. Well, that's the other one of those that we found earlier, so that can go in the pears pile. Check out this one. These were really in, weren't they, a few summers ago. Quite nice for festivals and things, they're fun. That's just a costume bangle. A vintage, that needs a lovely clean. Oh yeah, it really does need a clean. Is that the other one to the one we found earlier? No, nope, it's another one that looks the same but isn't. Some glass pearls, they're pretty heavy with a broken clasp, so I might reuse those beads for something else or potentially fix the, fix the clasp, but I have a lot of faux pearl necklaces. A hair slide. Another bohemian earring. That's a back I knocked off something early, so I'll leave that to one side. What's this? Oh, it's a vintage something. Oh, it's a necklace that's just caught up. I can reuse those beads. Okay, I think here we haven't really got any treasure hiding. It's a cute little K. Let's just check that for... No, that is magnetic. Put that in with the pins. That's pretty, but sadly it's fallen off of something. I might test that for silver. No, it's magnetic. Shame, shame, shame. We've got another nice glass screw back. I expect that's probably come from the same home as that one. It'd be lovely if we could find the pairs. If not, they could be an asymmetric pair. a piece of abalone this is all costume bits and bobs let's very quickly have a look in here this looks interesting i think that's glass but i will double check it for jade just in case but it feels like glass to me and it's got a silver marking on the screw back there that's an interesting one. KJL, that one has got a marking. So I'll look that one up. KJL, can't think what that is. That is broken. Oops, broken and has no markings. Wow, check out the size of that. That is sterling silver. It says HB on the back. If you know these brands, please do shout at me in the comments. Pair of clips. Oh, another belly dancer style one. That looks like an anklet. Isn't that pretty? HN, I think that says. Or it could be NH, actually. I'm not quite sure which way up it is. That's a nice one. Lovely glass beads on this one. They've got, they look like lamp work ones. They've got little pink blobs in them. Beautiful. What does that say on the back? Italy. Oh, I bet they're Murano. Italy made. 
It's got some verdigris on it, unfortunately. I wonder if I could reuse those beads for something else. They're beautiful. Could make them into rings, maybe. That's a tiny little brooch. And then we've got a pair of clips. No markings on those. Oh, we've got some treasure here. This one says Cr Dior. We've got a Christian Dior earring. I do have another pair of Christian Dior clip-ons to list and I haven't listed them because they don't, they have the CD logo on, but they don't say Christian Dior on the back. So if you know, if they did unmarked ones, please let me know because I haven't listed those and I would like to. We've got a Pandora style lampwork bead, but it's not silver. A pretty silver filigree stud. I feel like I've had one of those before. Another brooch. It doesn't look like the other deal earring is in here. Maybe it's loose in the bag. We hope, hope, hope. That's a little pendant, very sweet. That's a washer, I think. <laughs> and we've got a broken bit of gemstone. That's a shame. I expect one of my girls will probably want that though. That looks like it's come off a Christmas decoration maybe. That's an unmarked clip. Ooh, this is fun. Look at that. No markings on that one either. It's a broken vintage clip. Shame, that would have been very pretty cleaned up. And that's broken off something that can go into craft. And that's a Scottish agate cabochon i will keep that because you never know what that might fit into further down the line that's just a bead oh that's a beautiful little lampwork bead don't know if you'll even be able to see that that's really sweet oh shall we use that for something what does that say i think it might say made in china but i'll have a look at that through the loop later that's a very sweet clip on. A charm that's seen better days. So right mix in here. I can see another one of those lampwork beads. I think I've had one of those lampwork beads before. I think I've put it somewhere in one of the little pots on my desk, so I'll have to have a look. That one says Germany, but it's lost its whatever it was. I bet it was a pearl or a faux pearl. It's a clip on. Hold on, there's a marking on that one. Looks like it says G-E-S, G-E-S-G. -E so G-E-S and then G-E-S-G. -E I don't know. That one needs looking up. That one's covered in verdigris, that's a shame. Ah, there's the other filigree one that we found before. I think that's a modern sort of honeycomb one. That's quite sweet. Paperclip earring. That's just modern costume. Just another two of them there. Ah, we found the one to that earlier, didn't we? That one can be repaired. Oh, that's nice. That's got a 925 mark on the back. Mother of Pearl inlay. That's beautiful. I'm assuming that would have been an earring, but I will turn that into a pendant. There's some loose beads. Oh, that's very pretty with the little marker seats in. Clover, has that got a... No markings. That looks like it might be silver though. That's pretty. That's a copy of that brand that I can't remember the name of. That's missing a faux pearl. Any other treasure hiding in here? That's a bale of something. Hang something else on that one. That's an end cap with a necklace. Oh, it looks like a steel. Well, that's quite nice actually. That's like a steel earring with 
keep his aconias in it. Cufflink, that's not gold. Okay, so we found a few little pieces of treasure in there. I will update you on these ones, the possible gold earrings, these topaz stones, um, that clip-on and the Albert chain. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop me a comment. What was your favourite thing? Have you got anything you can tell me more about? I shall see you in that live, if not before. Take care. Bye.